to HCS Connects. I'm Kelly Goral with Hampton City Schools. Today, I have two special guests with me. I have Noah Easter and Angela Garris, both from Phoebus High School. They are our phantoms today, and not just phantoms, they are our top two students for the graduating class of 2018. So welcome guys, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Yeah. All right, so let's learn a little bit about the both of you. We know that you're the valedictorian, Noah, and the salutatorian, um, Angela, for the class of 2018. But really, we want to get to know you a little bit. So Noah, tell us about yourself. Are you a native Hampton, or, or did you move to Hampton? Um, native Hampton. So which schools did you go to at Hampton City Schools through your academic career? Uh, I started at Forest Elementary, then went to Spratly Gifted Center, then Phoebus High School. And you've been at Phoebus for all four years? Mm -hmm. Excellent. So tell me a little bit about Phoebus. What, what is your academic load like at Phoebus? Uh, I took mostly AP classes when they were offered. I have dual enrollment English, since you instantly get the credit once you pass the class. So. Any language? Uh, I had Spanish for two years in middle school, then one year for freshman year that so completed the requirement. So three years of the Spanish. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right, coming over to you. <laughs> So tell us about a little bit about yourself. Are you a Hampton born or are you from somewhere else? I was born in North Carolina, but I moved here when I was three. So I've practically been here most of my life. So you feel, feel like you're definitely a Hampton person. Yeah. So where, where have you gone to school in Hampton? Um, I went to Merrimack and then I got into the gifted program and went to Mary Peak and then to Spratly and now Phoebus. Okay. So let me ask you a question. Have you all known each other the entire time through Phoebus? Have you had a lot of classes together? Yeah, I would say so. You'd say so? Well, tell me a little bit about your academic um, course um, load. I like to have like a little bit of mix. So I usually do like about half AP, and then I do like honors or regular just to balance it out and make sure I'm not overloaded. Not overloaded? Yeah. What was your favorite course? Um, probably I took um, video media this year. So it was like fun making videos with all my friends and stuff. What type of videos did you make? Oh, we did a lot of things. We did like product commercials. We did um, PSAs, um, a chase scene, a lot of fun things. So you really enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, we'll get into as far as where you're going in the fall and so forth, mm -hmm. but um, is that now something you may want to pursue in the future because you enjoyed that class so much? Um, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but you still had fun. Yeah, I still had fun. What was your most challenging class? Um, probably the same one. <laughs> really? Yeah. So your most challenging, but your most favorite. Yeah, because like I had a hard time with all the things and trying to work the camera and trying to edit and get things done in on time. But it was a lot of fun trying to put it together at the same time. So. Well, that kind of gives you a little bit of um, respect as far as being on this show today. Yeah. And all the <laughs> all the back work that goes into that. Yeah. Yeah. So Noah, how about you? What was your favorite class? Uh, I guess my favorite class would probably be digital electronics. Now tell us about that. Um, you basically learn how to build circuits and logic gates and all electrical components and how they work, how to use them, stuff like that. It, but even though like, I'm aiming to be a mechanical engineer and not electrical, I felt like that class was the most hands-on, the most fun, you learn the most, because most people don't deal with electrical components, but you know, you have mechanical things all around you all the time. Exactly. So. Now, there's something about you that I know, that you do a lot with robotics. Is mm -hmm. that because of that class or is that an extracurricular piece? Um, it's, I got into Phoebus with the ID8 Academy, which means you take classes which are PLTW, which is Project Lead the Way, and that's part of the curriculum for that. So you have intro, and then you have like mechanics, you have robotics one, you have just digital electronics, like those types of classes, but you have to be in the club that actually builds the robot. So, so but you're part of that club, mm -hmm. correct? So tell me about that club, because it had quite the accomplishment this year. Oh yeah, um, we won the district competition this year, and the um, robotics club basically, you, have a, um, you get a task you have to complete, and over six weeks you have to build a robot that completes that task and fits all the requirements, like it has to be under 120 pounds, has to only use these components, has to run off a um, car battery basically. And yeah, we won this year, made its regionals, didn't win a regional, but. But you made it there, mm -hmm. which is pretty, pretty phenomenal. So what was your part in the club? I was team leader of the chassis section, which is like the main body. So it does all the electrical and drive, basically. And we do every part of that except the programming, which is a separate team. So I was the leader and we had a co-leader for that one. Very good. 
Well, congratulations. Well, thank you. I've had the opportunity to kind of follow you all on Twitter during the competition and see a bunch of the pictures and a little bit of the video. And if you've never been to one of those competitions, they are very impressive. Yeah. It's kind of, yeah. Yeah. So next year, both of you all are heading off to college, different path. So Angela, tell me, what schools were you accepted to for next year? Um, I was at two, two a lot. Um, Hofstra, William & Mary, UVA, Bridgewater, um, what else? Chowan. You had quite a few yeah. that you were accepted to, correct? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where are you headed in the fall? William & Mary. Going to the College of William & Mary. And yes. do you know what you want to major in yet? Probably psychology. So what drew you to William & Mary out of all those schools that you applied to? Um, it was like close, it was not too close, not too far, and you know, it has a good education, and they offered me full tuition fees, so yeah. So you were going on full, you have full tuition there. Yeah. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. Noah, where were you accepted to next year? Um, I'm going to ODU. And is that the only, is that, you just That's want like to go to ODU? That's the only one I have life for, because it's like, I did early decision. Since my brother's there, so he's doing electrical, but the first two years is basically the same classes. So if I had any struggles, he would help me with it before we like diverge into the different parts. Well, it's very smart. Yeah, and it's close enough that I can like get food for my parents and wash clothes and stuff. <laughs> I do remember that. Mm -hmm. Always bringing back those clothes to, yeah. and also raiding the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So don't don't forget that piece either because they're close enough to do yeah. that. Also, my brother knows how to cook, so I can mooch food off him. So. And you can mooch off him. Yeah. <laughs> You're already really forward thinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this year, what type of uh, extracurricular pieces? I know you did the robotics. Mm -hmm. Any other things that um, Phoebus that you participated in or any honors uh, or national, awards or anything? We were both in National Honor Society. National Honor Society? Mm -hmm. How about you? Um, I did a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I did volleyball, tennis, National Honor Society, National English Honor Society, National Social Studies Honor Society, um, Key Club, um, Project Discovery this year. A couple of years ago, I did um, DECA. I've just like done different things. Try to. So you had sports in there as well. Yes. And um, that's quite the the thing to keep up with as far as practices and games. Yeah. How did that go with handling the, your coursework? And um, Sometimes it's a little bit stressful, you know. I go to practice and sometimes I didn't get home to like eight or something. So I'd stay up all night, but I just, I don't know, I just did it. Are you trying to join anything at William & Mary in the fall? Uh, I plan to play club volleyball. I'm trying not to do like the um, actual division because I want to study more on my, um, focus more on my studies. So. Get that first year under your belt and make yeah. sure that, that everything's smooth before you go any yeah. further. <laughs> Very good. So I do know um, I had asked you all some questions earlier that you'd filled out for me. And it was just talking about like your experiences at your high school. You know, you've been there for four years. You are the leaders and the role models getting ready to, to graduate. And I know that you've probably had some inspirational teachers and so forth. So if you had one teacher that you could thank who would that teacher be and why? Why don't you go ahead and start, Noah? Uh, I would probably think Ms. Miguel, my English teacher for 11th and 12th grade year for putting up with all my nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of nonsense? You gotta fill us in because you're a pretty good kid. <laughs> uh, no, I lay down on the floor in class, you know, huh? turn in some quizzes on sticky notes. Turn in quizzes on yeah. sticky notes? Like I had vocab yeah. and you had to write like 20 sentences and I just put it on sticky note and gave it to her. Yeah. So she put up with your nonsense, mm -hmm. so she's probably one of your favorites for sticking with you. Yeah. What else, have, what have you learned from her? I remember, I mean, it was like the only English class I've enjoyed. So basically, even though we like, we read the books and you, you forget them immediately after, but you know, <laughs> the process wasn't as strenuous and tiresome as every other English class, so. So you definitely are going to miss her, mm -hmm. you think? Angela, how about you? If you had one teacher um, to just say thanks for something. Probably Miss Miguel too, just because like, I don't know, I've had a lot of uh, fun in that class, and I feel like it's one of the classes where I've grown the most. Um, either that or Miss Ambrosio's class was also another English class. Um, I feel like I discovered a lot about myself in there because, I don't know, we did a lot of journals and stuff, and she was just like, just write, don't think about it, just write whatever comes to mind, and it helps you discover like more about yourself. And, what do you think you discovered? I don't know, just like more of who I am as a person and what I like, what I dislike. And that's probably what's led you to what you want to do in the future. Yeah. <laughs> so do you know what you want to major in at William & Mary? Yeah, psychology. So we said psychology. Yeah. What drew you to that? Um, I took 
AP, well, I've always had an interest in, in psychology. It probably started with like watching Brain Games. It's like a psychology show. And um, I took psychology last year. I put, took AP Psych. And it just really interests me, everything about it, about the brain, about um, all that. And I want to become a shrink in the council and stuff. So. so afterwards, after you've gone through this next part of your life, you can come back and join us. <laughs> and you can sit down. You can pick my brain. Tell me oh. what's going on. What do you okay. think? I'll put you on the list. <laughs> you put me on the list? <laughs> you have a list already. Yes, already. You already have a list. All right, so if you had to give one piece of advice to your underclassmen or these rising freshmen, the one thing through high school, what do you think that piece of advice would be? Uh, keep track of what you have to do. Like, don't sign up for things you're not prepared for. Make sure you know everything you have to do by what time. Like, set goals of stuff to accomplish so you don't have to do it later. You know, don't overwork yourself and make sure you're doing everything in your full potential, basically. Very good. So really, you know, make sure that you know those deadlines mm -hmm. and that you're not overloading and doing too, mu too much, but really focusing and doing the best you can mm -hmm. at each thing. What do you think, Angela? Yeah, he took mine. I was going to say, um, he took yours. don't try to do too much. Only do what you can handle and stuff. And, you know, it's better to get an A in the honors class than a D in an AP class. So. Well, and you're kind of proving that where, mm -hmm. while you're going on to school, you know, you're big into sports, but you're going to do club because mm -hmm. you want to make sure you can handle yeah. what you can freshman year. So it's very smart. Very smart. So are we looking forward to next week? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any summer plans? No, any summer plans, plans for you? Uh, my parents are making me get a job, so. They're making you get yeah, a job? Have forced. you lined anything up yet? No, I'm, pro I'm procrastinating. <laughs> You're procrastinating. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh no, my free time. Let me give you a friendly tip of advice. Don't lay on the floor at your job. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How about you, Angela? I'm probably going to get a job, too, or like go out with my friends, hang out with them more before we all go off to college. So this year you have a little bit of downtime, hopefully, mm -hmm. before you start. I have a math placement test right before prom. Oh, a wow. math placement test? <laughs> yeah, for <Yes>. college. Wow. <laughs> well, we really do truly um, wish you the best on this journey. Um, you know, you have a lot to be proud of and the accomplishments that you have already tackled. Um, you're number one and number two in your class, which is a huge accomplishment. But if you continue to do the things that the advice that you've given um, to your underclassmen, you should mm -hmm. see much success. So congratulations to you both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on HCS Connects. And until we connect again, please follow us on Facebook and Twitter, as well as our YouTube channel, our division website, and our HCS TV station. Thanks and have a great day.